our obligation to care for our spiritual lives is no less important. Brothers and sisters, we all have a desire for safety. We build houses to protect ourselves from the weather and our property from thieves. We lock our doors at night. We put gates at the entrances of our land. Why is safety so important to us? Our physical life is, after all, a gift from God and we have a duty to protect it. Whether we are protecting ourselves from illness brought on by the weather or from physical danger caused by other people's violence, we have an obligation to care for this gift which God has given us. Our obligation to care for our spiritual lives is no less important. If anything, our obligation to care for the safety of our souls is even greater. After all, our life on earth will come to an end, but our souls will be eternally in a state of life or death, depending on the choices we make on this earth. Thankfully, Jesus does not leave us alone with this responsibility. He does not expect us to provide for our own spiritual safety without his help. He says in today's gospel, I am the door. Doors are there to keep things inside which should be inside, to keep things outside which should be outside, and to control the movement of things in and out. Thus, if we allow ourselves to be guarded by Jesus, the door, he will allow us to only encounter those things which are for our good. Of course, this means that we have to give up our desire to control what goes in and out. We cannot go out and do whatever we want, nor can we let whatever we desire into our lives. To allow Jesus to be our safety means giving up our desires to allow his will to rule our lives. It means listening to his voice, following only his lead. We must learn not to listen to every bodily pleasure that calls out to us, to every person who tries to convince us of something other than what Christ and his church teach us or to the half-truths and emotional propaganda of today's news and social media which want to convince us to put something other than the love of God first and foremost in our lives. But if we allow ourselves to become one of Christ's sheep, if we allow him to make us part of his sheepfold, to take us in and out with his flock, then we have the confidence that every joyful or sorrowful moment, every pleasure and pain which we will experience will be an opportunity to grow closer to him. After all, he stands before us with his hands spread out on the cross to say to the one who would bring us spiritual and eternal harm, you cannot enter here.